Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke and today we're continuing our, our bilateral rowing exercise progressions. Uh, we, we talked about the bent over row yesterday, which is kind of just like an RDL with a row. Now we're going to do something really, really similar. In a, a, this came from a, an Olympic weightlifting coach named Glenn Pendley. Basically, you put the bar on the ground and it starts there. Now, I've already told you the bent over row is really complicated. And if you need more explanation than that, watch that bent over row video. But <laughs> this one is even more complicated, right? I need a lot more mobility to get my position all the way down to the ground with a good back position, right? I need a lot more flexibility in my hamstrings. I need to have good control in my back to make sure that I'm actually loading my legs and my upper back muscles. So beware, do the three point row variation first where your hand is helping support you and you're only rowing one at a time. Then after you've trained that perfectly and after you can do an RDL perfectly, then come over to the bent over barbell row and do that one. And after you can do that really, really well, then you can try this penlay row variation. I've seen people do it. I've seen them do it very well. I've seen, uh, I've been able to figure it out as well. I, I like the variation, at least for myself. I've never given it to a client. I think maybe I gave it to one client and it looked like crap. <laughs> so I stopped giving it to people. It's just, it's hard to coach if you don't fully understand what's going on. And in the context of a, a training session, usually I just want to get my muscles tired and there are better ways to do that than learning this weird rowing variation. But I do want to talk about it because if you're analytical like me and you're, you're evaluating all your movements because you watch YouTube videos from some random guy in Mountain View, California, then this might be of some use to you. So you're starting with a bar on the ground, my imaginary bar is sitting down there about mid shin height, maybe a little underneath that. And then you're doing an RDL. So it's a slight tuck, slight exhale. I push my butt back till I feel a stretch in my legs. And then I'm down here on the ground. Okay, now I'm going to hold that. And I'm going to try to initiate the energy from my heels up through my butt, and then into my hands. Okay, it comes all the way down, clank. This is my sound effects, clank, clank. <laughs> the timing isn't quite right, but you, you get the idea. Um, the, so penlay row, this is actually an attainable thing. You can, you can definitely work towards it. I don't mean to scare you away from ever doing it, but make sure that you're, again, you're these all these rowing exercises are lower body exercises. And once you think about it that way, then you're kind of ensuring that you're going to get the technique right. OK, so I need to make sure I'm stabilizing with my hamstrings here at the bottom so that I'm not just lifting with my back on every rep. OK, and then final point of the upper body mechanics, make sure that you're getting that shoulder blade back first and then the elbow follows after that. OK, otherwise, I'm not really going to feel that upper back squeeze. I'm not going to get that upper back development that I'm looking for. And I'm actually putting my shoulder at risk for long term injuries. So that is the Pendlay row.